They see a church that's on fire for God. Mm -hmm. That's the church that gets targeted. You're in a worship saying, praise Jesus. They're saying, praise the Lord. They mean Satan. Satanists have a, a form of speaking in tongues, just like Christians. They can counterfeit any gift we have. But the superstars of religion, could they be part of program multiple? They take all that information back to covens. What's their ultimate goal? If they begin to be found out, they will disappear overnight. We're talking about s satanic abuse, right. rituals, the dark side, right. program multiples, people who have been programmed systematically by another person or another group. Right. Is it possible that some of these programmers actually come out of the church, the religious system? Um, based on their targeted infiltration, and that's the whole system, kind of like the tares. Remember the tares were to be right in the mind? Right, it right. fits that model. Yes, um, many of them have been placed into the church, became because they have the ability to, like, like Satan, to masquerade, you know, like the servants masquerade also. Right. By day, they're the nice community leaders, but what they really were, were, were what they were down, downstairs. So the above ground, they're posers. They're, they're, that's the mask. Mm. Um, mm. And, they, and they love the idea of uh, trying to pull the wool over the church, blaspheming God by doing this and give a cover story for themselves. Now, I don't want anyone out there to think I'm, 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 I'm pinpointing a particular person. However, could it be that the preachers we see on television that are very familiar to us, uh, the, 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 the superstars of religion, could they be part of Program Multiple? Over the years, because we have been tenacious about going after because I don't like this. For the sake of the body of Christ, right. I don't like that they're infiltrating. Right. I don't like that the church has been too weak in, deceit, in seeing this. Remember Acts chapter 5, Satan entered Ananias and Sapphira to infiltrate the church, to do harm. That's and right. Satan, and, and Peter, of course, led by the Spirit of God, stopped that, saw that. Right. That's where we should be. But these guys are very sophisticated, uh, very plotting. So I could say... And, I, and I'm not going to give a name, but I can say that there's people that I've seen on TV that I've questioned. Mm -hmm. Now, we have purposely counter-infiltrated and gone to churches yeah. looking for this. Yeah. Tracking this in the 80s, late you, 80s. You actually walk into churches yes, looking we, for this. When we hear about churches where this is happening, where there may be one of these highly you know, trained Satanist elitists and so forth that are doing things... Um, in, in the Catholic system, we've done this. In other churches, we've done this purposely. By design, we prayer target it. We go back in. We want to find out if that's happening. You know why? Because I love the body of Christ, and I want to go in there. And if, they're, if you've got some bad infiltrators playing <coughs> games, deceiving people, right. and maybe hurting right. somewhere along, hurting right. some kids in the nursery, right. I'm in there. No, it makes us all look bad, especially to people that aren't Christians sure. looking from the outside in. Yep. If someone's in the church and they're, what should they look for in a, and what would you call these people in the church, these plants? Would they be program multiples? We, well, we, yeah, well, many times, well, yeah, they are. Uh, that, yeah, because covens will send programmed multiples into the uh, church for a number of reasons. Okay, so we have covens. Yep. Would covens be in the church? Well, not the whole, uh, but not so much the whole of the group. But they may have targeted church because okay. covens target churches. Okay, the covens start. Right, is coven, is that a group or is that an individual? Group, okay. group. Okay, the coven is a group. They target the church. They say, we want this church over here. Right. They, they have, they've already created a program multiple, right? Right. And they send that program multiple into the church. Probably after they've done summon demons and targeted the church in warfare, almost always. Wow. And why would they tar target a certain church? Why? Well, they might have a map of all the churches like they did in Ohio, the, all the Northeast Ohio area. They'll color code the churches to say if they're weak, they don't care about them. If they're, uh, but if they're strong churches, they may want to, in their rituals, oh. summon demons and send them. Kind of like um, <coughs> Revelation 16, that out of the mouth of the dragon, and sent the demons. Now, in that case, they sent the demons to the kings of the earth to draw them right. to Armageddon. right. Um, 
But summoning and sending is, is a major part of this. And, and we've seen this for you know now 30 years. They've been doing this to the church since the early 70s. And here's their story. If they can't affect the church bad enough with that, they will send somebody in. Okay, all right. They might come first saying, I need counsel, I need help, I need help me. Okay. That's the upfront, the mask side of it. Okay. Inside are highly trained priestesses, highly charged demonically personalities, that when they're, you're in a worship saying praise Jesus, they're saying praise the Lord, they mean Satan. Wow, wow. You mean to tell me it could be in some of these churches when people are uh, praising, when we're praising the Lord Absolutely. with our hand, you've got demons or, or you've got program multiples and Satanists. They, they love doing it. Next to you, praising Satan. They, ha- they, get, they really get their, I mean, I'm serious. They really get their jollies over this because they, they know they're pulling wool over eyes. They'll yeah. even speak in counterfeit speaking in tongues, the false demon given. And lay hands on people and want uh, to transfer so, a demon. That's, so, so, so actually, Satanists have a, a form of speaking in tongues, just like Christians do. They, they can counterfeit any gift we have. They have a demonic encounter, you know, counterfeit to it. Wow. And so, <clears throat> okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but churches that are watered down, that don't mean anything, that are weak, chances are you're not going to find many program multiples in that or Satanists, right? They don't really care. They, they don't, don't care. They don't care. They're, they're nothing to them. Because they're not affected. They're not a threat. But they see a church that's on fire for God. Mm-hmm. That's the church that gets targeted. Right. Wow. And in infiltration, in a design infiltration, they're already sending powers. They'll send somebody in. Here's some of the things they'll bring. They'll send a gift. They'll have a, a gift to give to the pastor that's been used in a ritual that has a demon on it with an assignment. Wow. Charged okay. object. So, okay, so listen to this, guys, because Russ has given you some valuable information. If you have a someone that's coming to the church, given the pastor a gift? Yeah, that's the mo- we, we've learned consistently that that's the mode of operation, that when they're infiltrating, okay. they want to target the pastor. Okay, target the pastor, okay. Target it. They, they, they'll go in and recon the church. They'll go okay. in and, and take information back to the coven. Okay, they'll, would this be maybe a woman targeting the sure, pastor through sure. the demon of sex? Well, that's one of the... See, there's methods. Some of it will be that they're, they're going to target leadership. They want to first recon, get all the information they can, and give it back to the coven so the coven can send demons. Okay. Then they're going to um, target the pastor, give demonic charge gifts. N- another method is calling him and calling him and, and, and monopolizing his time, taking, you know, you know, the time. Third level, they'll start going to elders and prayer warriors and back and forth. And then they'll begin to say, well, he said this and she said. So the goal is create division. They cause division. create division. So when I see a church split. Could be. Could it by be. By plot, by plan. By design. By design. Sure. That's. That's sure. mind-boggling. You know, look at all the church splits that go on sure. every day. And they also have sub-personalities in all of them that are highly sexually trained so that they can target a pastor or a leader with seduction. If they can bring the pastor down, that's a goal. Here's what I believe about PTL back in the day when they went down. Yeah. My personal opinion is the girl that was brought in was multiple and used to help bring it down, wow. that they were targeted. Jim Baker and all those guys were targeted. Um, they they were off. They they knew that sh- you know they should have known yeah. better in a lot right. of things. Okay, right, right, right. But, they were weak in that area. Right. But okay. I'm just going to say this. I, I you know I'm I really I love the body of Christ. I, I love my you know the Savior. You know I'm in the body of Christ. Uh, I want to fight for the body of Christ. I don't want to leave any brethren backslidden, fallen, whatever. I'm here to pick up anybody and, and stand with anybody. And it makes me, it, it, it outrages me that when, because the, the truth is they're very sophisticated. The church is not trained to look for sophisticated, programmed, uh, demonized, highly trained infiltrators. And, and if, you, if, you, if they volunteer for the nursery, if one of these volunteer for the nursery, the guarantee is a subpersonality inside them will sexually abuse children. Wow. And what is the ultimate goal of a program multiple in, in Satanists in, in a church? What's their ultimate goal? Beat it. To beat it, to beat it, to um, bring to bring it down, uh, to cause such division, to cause such trouble, to bring a pastor down. We had a church in Pennsylvania where we did a couple of conferences 
we heard some stories. We went back. Once they were targeted over and over, the pastor did go down into sexual sins. It turned into a big difficulty because it involved a multiple. It involved one of these individuals. Mm -hmm. and, and another method in this, and I have, you know, there's, th this is very important. If they, part of their method is if they begin to be found out, they will disappear overnight. Wow. Wow. Because you know what? I've been in churches where people have just disappeared overnight. They, if they, yeah. if they're there, because up, because again, they're they're masters at having an upfront mask, uh, you know, praise God, I'm a believer, things like that, and yet if they if they are one of these, they <coughs> switch personalities to the demonized, the co coven loyal. So again, they want to go after the pastors. They want to stop. They want to go after the prayer group and help stop it. They want to cause confusion. They want to monopolize time. They will recon the church. Here's what I mean. They'll get bulletins. They'll get information. They're always around asking a lot of questions about everybody, the pastors, where they live, where's the parent, you know, where's the kid. Where, they want to know everything. Right. Because they take all that information back to covens so they can use it in a warfare strategy to summon and send demons um, against the church. Uh, uh, program multiples in Satanist. Are most of them women, most of them men? What percentage? I mean, as far as those wanting out and getting help are women, overwhelmingly it's women. Now, we've, we had a lot of guys involved. There's no coven that does not have guy leadership. There's no coven that does not have guy leadership? All covens have men, male leadership. Okay, so all covens are, are, are led by men. Right, they're led by but, men. But there's women in, in the covens. There's women in the covens always, yeah. Okay. And uh, they can, but they, you know, there's ranks. There's ranks of these covens. There's, you know, you can be a magus, you can be a wizard, you can be a sorcerer, you can be a priest, a priestess. Uh, so there's a lot of rank that involves what you accomplish, what you do, if you participated in blood rituals, human sacrifice, if you helped abduct a child, abduct a child. It, it's there's there's a whole array of status and ranking and wow. position and and that's a whole show in it in and of itself yeah now the preachers that preach in the pulpit and the clearly they preach false doctrine because the doctrine of prosperity they don't want to offend people they take scripture out of context mm -hmm. could they be a program multiple or are they just deceived what well i mean the truth is there's a lot of you know there, there's times there's we, there's people that shouldn't be in pulpits right i've been in the pulpit 30, you know, 34 years straight, you know, local pastor and so forth. And I've been in missions and doing what I do now. So I've been on the field preaching in churches for over 40 years. I, big churches, small churches. I pastored large churches, small churches. Um, there, you know, the scriptures give a demand for qualification. Yeah. And, um, and then, yeah, in, in a corporate national sense, there's a lot, a lot of churches that have been dumbed down theologically and they don't believe the Bible and so a lot of weaknesses have come in that grieves the Spirit of God, quenches the Spirit of God. Some of the evidence, there's no presence of God. There's no power of God. Right. And but no, in those churches, the Satanists wouldn't come in anyway. You already said that. So they, they I, wouldn't care. I just answered my own question. When you got a preacher preaching false prophecy, sure. it's probably not a demon because they don't need to be in there. No. It's already been no. taken down, right? Yeah, they don't care they, about that at all. Um, <laughs> yeah. For some reason, they like the Catholic system because of all the ritualistic stuff. Is I, That was going to be my last question. Mm -hmm. The Catholics, these poor Catholics, they get beat up. I mean, for us, you know, we can't help it. We just beat them up. But, but I do love them. I love the people. You know, you have to love the people. But you just answered my question. My question is, why do the demons hang out in Catholicism, it seems? Because? Yes. Well, because, you know, there's a negation of the authority, the central authority of Scripture. Okay. So when you add in uh, ex cathedra and all kinds of other things to where it reduces powerful, straightforward, biblical, empowered Christianity like Book of Acts, when you have nothing more than mysticism, when you, when you confuse what salvation directly means and is, uh, when you replace a lot of that with even some pagan things that have been brought in, beads and things. Yeah. So you have a really, a really different system. Yeah. You have Christianity they, there in the veneer, and there's certain yeah. things that, well, Trinity, Virgin Bird, Jesus is God, yeah. he is going to come again. There's things like that they, they clearly believe. Yeah. But there's a lot of um, ecclesiastical things yeah. that have nothing to do with... Well, 
biblical Christianity. What you're saying is demons just kind of like to hang around ritualistic type things. And the, the, tr the truth and the is, Catholics have them. They love messing up the church. They love <laughs> making fun of the church. They I'm, love uh, disgracing the church. And we yeah. should we should realize that. Look at Peter and the disciples. Satan is was you know asked to sift them. Yeah. Peter says later after he finds victory and has victory, and we're all intended to have victory for sure. We we all we're all supposed to have victory <laughs> yeah. over the world, over the flesh, over the devil. And we we and, we, and I and I've been preaching heavy a lot lately because we do a lot of exposure issues but becoming the powerhouse that we should be yeah. the truth is god designed us we could be at the cutting edge like daniel in the book of daniel with all the cult leaders all the channeler all of the chaldeans all the sorcerers here's what was said about daniel he was 10 times better wow 10 times better than the big sorcerers the yeah. chaldeans the astrologers the some conjurers I believe believers, with all that God gives us in Christ, can be ten times better. Absolutely, Absolutely. because greater is he who is in me, he who is in you, For than he who is in the world. We have the power, Russ. We do. It's just the, 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 the church... Okay, okay, this is my next show. But when we come back, I want to ask you about readers to the dead. Sure. What that means. Sure. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.